Hi everyone, today I am with one more video that is Madhubani art. I have taken inspiration from one of the Indian painting. Well, Madhubani is a painting uh, which is traditionally created by women of various communities in Mithila region. It's also known as Mithila paintings. This painting is done with varieties of tools including fingers, twigs, brushes, nip pens and matchsticks and using natural dyes and pigments. It is a characteristic by the eye-catching geometrical patterns. In this particular video, I will share you every detail and step-by-step -step tutorial on how I created this look. Now to start with, I have used Krylon Supra Palette Foundation as a base and I have taken one shade lighter to her skin tone and to create this look I have used a water paint um, of Fevicryl company because I feel water paint or watercolors are pretty safer on skin that you can definitely go ahead and use it for certain amount of time and most of the paintings of Madhubani if you see they have a huge and dramatic eyes so for that look, I have created an illusion and taking out the complete space of her eye and around the eyes. Well, this is my rough marking for the eyes and the next step would be to go ahead and fill the complete face, neck and around the chin and forehead areas with green shade. I have green shade in many palettes and I literally wanted a bright green shade, a lush green shade. So I have used shimmer, matte, um, olive greens and dark greens and pale greens, all the colors um, from the green family just to get a very bright green look. So here I have actually loaded with four different green shades and almost four layers now to create the intensity i have used a smaller brush so that i want the product to be uh, well uh, you know applied on the face and to create the eye the for the crease just to give the eyeshadow kind of an effect i have used pink well to create this perfect and uh, the well painted kind of her eye i have just blended her eyelid area once again before we start with the eye look and wherever we use eyeshadow in that particular area just on her eyelid i have created a huge eyeball and then filled her entire rest of the space with white so when she closes her eyes it looks like the eye is opened and it looks like a huge and dramatic eyes just like the painting if you like my videos please do subscribe to my channel and hit that like button and share it to your friends as well or whoever is makeup enthusiast here I'm adding another coat of green just to enhance the color or pigment wherever there is, it's required and by using the black watercolor I'm drawing a strand of hair that has just fallen on her cheeks and this also gives a painting kind of an effect. Madhubani paintings are made with geometrical shapes and designs so for that I have created uh, paper cutouts and colored it by myself and created all these jewelries from the crown to earrings to nose pin even to the mangtika and the hair accessories. Well, to complete this look, I have given 
a texture around her neck that looks exactly like a painted neck piece for this i have used again a watercolor a black watercolor and created a neck piece design for uh, a sharp and precise design i have used a cap of the eyeliner just like you are seeing in this video as i have told you before if you do like this video please do subscribe to my channel and like and share it to your friends and hope you would see many more different kind of a makeup uh, or beauty hacks in my channel very shortly so for this look i have created two layers and these are roughly drawn this painting brings about more of a feminism or a female character in the painting so you have a lot of jewelries that will be put on and all the jewelries are handmade just crafted from paper and definitely my model and my kids helped me a lot in making the jewelry uh, thanks to them and they really loved and enjoyed to create such uh, art and I'm gonna stick all of that with the help of double side tape so I'm not taking too much of effort in stitching it anywhere or um, you know sticking it with any harsh glue so these uh, you know jewelries will be st stuck on her body or on her skin so just to be on a safer um, side or taking a safe measurements I have used double side tape and uh, nothing much for the hair uh, because it is single sided uh, picture I have used I've just tied a knot and keeping the hair very minimal I hope you are enjoying the detail work that I've just um, done on the neck part and we are going to start sticking all the jewelries so that's the mountika and you can see how big uh, the nose pin is and this is the earring which goes right on her ears and then I would top up with her hair accessories and here is the complete look I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I do creating this look you can also see my latest work on Instagram my Instagram handle is be bride makeup do follow my work there and do not forget to subscribe to my channel and do like and share my videos thank you so much and the part two of this particular makeup is coming up shortly do stay tuned and thank you so much bye